Hey y'all, before we jump in, be sure to like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, hit subscribe to Blab with Brittany. Blab with Brittany. getting ready to go to a birthday party yeah i was gonna use that chapstick but i'm gonna use a different one we're gonna use this vaseline chapstick and we're gonna get ready for this birthday party so i know it was a couple weeks ago um one of my gorgeous subbies were saying that we're the same skin tone and that she'd like to see how I do my makeup. So that is what we're gonna do today. Don't forget you guys to click the link in the description box if you want some of the tea. Um, it's still a little hot, so I have my tea and my water and I have my candle warmer going with some jasmine and lang lang smells so good in here leland is taking a nap which is perfect because we have to get ready for this party and i don't want him cranky there so i'm gonna start off with my brows i use lots of different stuff for my brows it just depends on what i grab for i have a brow gel and then sometimes i use like a brow pencil but lately i've been grabbing for this brow palette and i actually got this at dollar tree so it has a brow wax and then two different brow powders it comes with this little brush and spoolie i don't really use that but if i were to go like to visit my sister or go out of town then that would be perfect so i take this brush and dip in the brow wax and I just, let me see, I'm gonna move you guys next to my mirror so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I put the brow wax on first and that just kind of lays the hairs the way you want them that are barely there. And do that for both. Then I dip in that first brow color And I do the front of my brows. And this front part you don't want, you see I started the powder kind of back here. The front part you want kind of faded out. So I do that first brow color in the front. And I do the second brow color in the back. And that went up way too high, but that's okay. That's what the concealer is for. 
second color in the back. Like that. Cause that's a little bit of a darker color. And then we just blend the two. Then I take this concealer. You can also use the Ruby Kisses that comes in the two pot pan. This is also from Dollar Tree. And then I just carve out, oh, this is shaking. There we go. So it's not shaking. I just take this little brush and then we clean up the brows. On days where I'm not doing a full face of makeup, just like brows and mascara, then I only do this at the bottom. But today, since it's gonna be a full, well, my version of full, cause I don't do too much, then we'll do both sides. Okay. You can just carve out the shape that you want. This just cleans up, get rid of that extra product. And I try to make sure it's not that much on here. Cause I need a different color in this, but this has been working the way I blend it out with the powder after. So we just go around clean up. Okay, so I get it like that. And then I take that same brush and I just go around and kind of blend out the extra around. And then this front part, so that it's not a blunt line, I just kind of blend it out with my finger. I used to do my brows so sharp. I'll insert a picture of how I used to do my brows like 10 years ago. <laughs> it was a hot mess. Okay, so then I take my face powder. I don't know what is up with this packaging. I can never get it open. This is the Ruby Kisses Matte Powder Foundation. Or sometimes I use my MAC Studio Fix. This color is working better for me now. So that's why I'm going in with this one. I don't think I'm one of those people that have like a winter shade and a summer shade. It's just sometimes my skin looks just slightly different. Sometimes in the summer, sometimes in the winter, week to week. So whichever color is looking the best, that's the one I grab. I just go around blend that out okay and um some people were asking me about this wig i got it on amazon uh last year so if i can find the link in my amazon order history i would definitely put it in the description box and let me grab a clippy we can clip this back so that's it for brows besides the um Leland always pulls out my stuff but I have this milk cosmetics kush fiber brow sometimes I go over it with that just as a final touch because I feel like it defines the hairs that are there so then it doesn't look so fake if you're like right up in my face that's it for brows. So then for primer, like I said, Leland moves all my stuff around in these drawers. Elf Illuminating Face Primer. You can use whichever primer you want. I get oily right here. So that's where I put it. And then any extra, like definitely on the sides of my nose middle of the forehead just blend that out elf has some really good products don't sleep on elf so then i take i was using the elf camo concealer but recently at the beauty supply where is it at 
I found this Nick K one. This stuff is way better. I used to buy tons of the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm in the color Deep Cinnamon. But this one, I don't think they have color names. The Nick K Perfect Multi-Use Concealer. This one is in the shade 11. So good. And with this one, I would have to put it, I put it under my eyes, my top lip in here. And I would have to do my under eyes, like do each section one at a time because it would dry so fast. This one gives you time to actually blend it out. So you don't have to do that. So um, I've not really been wearing foundation lately. I've just been kind of doing concealer in place of my foundation. If I had more like dark spots and pigmentation everywhere, I would go in with foundation. And the foundation that I wear is either the Revlon Color Stay. I have that in two shades. The 440 Mahogany and the 600 Cinnamon. I have to mix them. Or the, I think this is Maybelline. The Maybelline Matte Fit Me. And I use Deep Gold in 368. <clears throat> so yeah. So I put the concealer under the eyes, top lip, chin. And I try to get a color as closest to my skin tone. I don't do that Kim Kardashian <laughs> light shade anymore. I used to do that. And looking back at those pictures, I looked hella crazy. So I don't do that anymore. And I just blend that out. This is a, I don't know what this brand is. Real Techniques, duh, it has an RT on it. But this little, what is this meant for? It's called a soft accent brush, but it's perfect for blending out concealer. I just washed this brush yesterday before I did my makeup. Well, I guess that was two days ago because it was dry already, but my color of my makeup makes it look dirty. So I just blend out the extra up there. Make sure it's all blended out. Blend it, blend it, blend it. And I know some people use a beauty blender. I have beauty blenders. I like the Real Technique one, Real Techniques ones. Whenever I do use them, it's just, I feel like I get a better finish when I use a brush. I never really got like hooked on the beauty blender like everybody else did. Okay, so that's all blended out. Then I take this e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder just under my eyes and I definitely need some more. I've been scraping out the edges. I think I'm gonna try the Ruby Kisses one though since I like the concealer of them better. It's just I only use this under my eyes so that the concealer does increase and around my nose just where I get super oily like that then I go back in with my face powder like we did for around the brows and I think this is an elf I don't know what kind of brush but big fluffy brush just got a oh BX Beast Boy just liked my comment shout out to him I'm sure he's not watching this video that was the notification I got. And I just do a light wash of powder. So I guess a lot I do do use a foundation. I meant I don't use a liquid foundation. This is a powder one. But you know, real light foundation. Then I go in with my um contour the contour palettes that i use are the nick k from the beauty supply and i use the dark shade the most so i have tons of these palettes left because this color will be left i have three of them in here where it still has this color and not the dark color i use the dark color on my face and then i use the lighter color on my nose and my eyelids so i take where's my brush Okay, this is an e.l.f. small tapered brush. And I dip it in this dark color. And I hit my temples. That gives you an illusion 
of a more chiseled forehead so it doesn't just look like a big old surfboard up there. Then I hit the cheekbones. Then I hit the jawline. The makeup gurus say it should be a number three. Okay. <laughs> I used to watch so many makeup videos and now that is just not my thing unless I see like a super pretty girl then I may click it, but all that crazy eyeshadow and stuff, that is like a once a month maybe back before quarantine. Oh, now I'm going in with the lighter color, and this is a wet and wild brush I found at Dollar Tree. Just a fluffy brush on the eyelid. This is my cheater eyeshadow. I would use like a real eyeshadow brush if I was going somewhere or doing some real shadow, but I'm doing, I'm going to a baby's birthday party. It was not a big of a deal. Same light shade on the sides of my nose. Okay. And I just blend it, like I just follow the line into my crease with that so that it's nice and blended. These palettes are perfect because they have both of those shades. They're $1.99 and I think they come in three different shades. I have the darkest one. So after contour, I do my highlight. So Nika K has some good highlights. Wet n Wild has some bomb highlights, but the one that I've been addicted to, I don't even think you can buy this anymore, is either, not this. This, I do not like this. Do y'all like this? The Anastasia Glow Kit. For some reason, I feel like these colors are not meant for black girls. Like this one is okay, but it's like too loud. Carly Bible. This is the one I'm obsessed with. Or I also like my Juvia's Place. And I think these are supposed to be eyeshadows, but I use this one as a highlight sometimes. That palette is so pretty. I just dropped off the plastic thing. But the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette, this highlight in the bottom is my favorite. I take this Real Techniques. 420 highlighter brush tap into that i go down the center of my nose oh that's pretty and then i do the tops of my cheekbones these palettes went on sale for seven dollars and i should have bought like 30 of them because now i'm pretty sure you can't get these anymore and then i dust my forehead i would do my top lip but i'm gonna be wearing a mask so you're not even gonna see that. You're not even gonna see most of this part of my nose just here with the mask. So then if I'm feeling fancy, I um take that contour brush, go back into the dark shade of the contour and do the bottom outer lash line. We'll be fancy today for you guys. Then I take a smaller brush and so not the actual highlight shade, but this one looks just like the highlight shade, just not as dark. Take a little bit of that and go in the inner corner and blend it out. Okay, gives you that woke fairy look is what I call it. And then, you know, use your no nail on finger. We may do some nails tomorrow. I don't have time today. And that's the base of my face. So now we're going to go in with finishing spray. I either have the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist or this Ciate London Everyday Vacay Spray. We'll do the vacay spray since we're being fancy for you guys. Let that dry. Then final touch I mean we could do a little blush I probably won't do blush today I don't really do blush if I do then it's this uh ace beauty I got these out of a um what do you call it 
those boxes that come every month i don't get it anymore but i used to and i use this shade the most so we may throw on a little bit of that we have the maybelline colossal lash in very black or black is black not waterproof i do not like waterproof mascara maybelline waterproof mascara is like trying to wash concrete off of your eyes that is one thing i am definitely not into is wearing lashes oh my god i look so crazy when i try to wear lashes i just knocked something over and i think a second thing is falling um i feel like jasmine looks crazy when she wears lashes too because she don't know how to wear them but i have these wispies i just need somebody to teach me how to put them on one time i spent like 80 dollars on some magnetic lashes it was a fail they would not stay on then i got some lashes where you put on the eyeliner and then the lash magnifies to the liner that was a fail too because i don't wear liner on the top so i looked really weird i returned that mascara i love i do a layer and then like while this eye is drying I'm doing the other eye and then I go back and do more and I'm usually like really close to the mirror but I don't want to be that close in y'all's face but yeah I do a lot of mascara and then I'm done so I'm gonna finish up with the mascara and then I'll come back so we can do the final touches on my hair and get out of here <clears throat> so hot this i did not put any um tea or honey in this y'all know this is my first day drinking it and it does taste good it doesn't taste bad i'm gonna just have to get used to drinking a hot liquid usually i have like iced coffee but this tastes good yeah that tastes good it's just really hot um so I've got all my millions of layers of mascara on. I'm just gonna go in with that shade of blush and I go like behind where I put my highlight at. And I just do a little to feel like I'm doing something, you know. When I'm old, like old, old, like 90, I will pack on the blush. Cause I think blush is fun. So hair, this wig is a naturally wavy wig. The last couple days I've been braiding. This is a frontal. So I've been braiding the frontal. Like I'll put one braid here and one braid here. And then the back I just spray it with water. And I've been liking the volume that that's giving me with the hair being braided. Uh, so before I started the video, I took the braids out we're just gonna go in with a little bit of this scrunch leave-in conditioner mousse for the top because it's been so windy here and we're just gonna put that on the top layer kind of set everything in place the way i like it So we can get out of here. I already got the present ready for my little baby cousin. The party we're going to. She's turning one. You know those cute little baby floaties where you put the baby in and it has the little covering. And it's like they're sitting in like a little boat style. I got her that. And I also got her this little baby tablet toy. And then outside of that mousse, I'm just going to hit it with a little shine spray this is the bomb the pink glosser spray and yeah this is the final look you can go in with a little lip gloss elf has the best lip glosses so maybe we'll do what color is this elf praline for well your lips but better their glosses are not sticky 
and they have some really pretty colors. So I'm gonna see what I do with my watch and then we're gonna get out of here. All right, y'all, thanks for watching the video. Be sure if you want some tea to click the link in the description box. I'm doing the 30 day detox that comes with the colon cleanse and the skinny tea so we can get fine for our hot girl summer. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. She like, friend, you doing too much.